Welcome, Flyers fans. You're listening to Chris Mayer, Flyers Fan Mania 93 on YouTube. Okay, so welcome back. Um, Philadelphia Flyers announced today that they have bought out Oscar Lindblom, and he's been placed on waivers for the purpose of a buyout. Um, I'm just going to get to the point. Like, I don't like this move one bit. I, I, I'm sorry, but I cannot sit here and tell you and, and, and genuinely listen to somebody that tells me that they could not trade Limblom for a third-round pick, a fourth-round pick, a fifth-round pick. I don't even care if it was a seventh-round pick. The fact that they got nothing back for buying out a player just to get a whopping $300,000 makes absolutely no sense. And I understand you're trying to create cap room, I understand, but you, again, you cannot tell me you cannot have gotten any sort of asset back for Oscar Lindblom. And it's, it's very hard for me to, very hard for me to genuinely believe that. So, Philadelphia Flyers announced today that they place forward Oscar Lindblom on waivers for the purposes of buyout of the final year of his contract with his an average annual value, $30 million. Um... So it's three million, and the Flyers now, as of right now, per cap friendly, projected cap it is seventy nine million forty eight thousand one hundred seven dollars, and the projected cap space is three million four hundred and fifty one thousand eight hundred and ninety three dollars. And you still have JBR. It's five o'clock on Tuesday, July twelfth, as I'm recording this. You still have James and Reeves, like you still have all these guys. I have absolutely no idea how the Flyers try to move, get any sort of money. Because it seems like the sweetener now is the 2024 first-round pick from the Florida Panthers that they got from the Giroux trade. And that's the sweetener to move JVR for, what, like 20 25%, maybe even 30% retained at $5 million. So that's that. Look, Blimblom was a good player. He was a... Again, he could score. He was a good playmaker. He was a good defensive forward. Um, he had a good, you know, good hockey sense. All of that stuff. He was pretty good in the penalty kill. It, it's just unfortunate. And 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 the thing is, is you knew, and I hundred percent agree with Bill Meltzer on this. You knew that he was going to need some time. You knew that it was going to take a while for him to get ready. Essentially, it was eighteen months, and you you still bought him out. I mean, again, you can't sit here and tell me that a guy that makes $3 million could not get any sort of return. Brandon Hagel got traded at $1.5 million and got that big of a return, which was, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't remember off the top of my head, it was around maybe like four picks. So you're telling me that you couldn't move a guy for double the salary of Brandon Hagel for what he got. Now I understand Brandon Hagel has not dealt with any of the things that Oscar Lindblom has, but still, He's still a good player, and he's still young enough to where he could overcome that and still become that player that he was before when he started off the year of the 2019-20 season really hot on that first line. And the Flyers never went back to that line, by the way. Um, so that's where I'm at. I, I, I have absolutely no idea what they do. I don't know who they move out. I don't know if it's JBR. I don't know if it's Konechny. I don't know if it's Pro. I have no idea. I don't see this as I, – I really don't see them getting a good draw. I don't. I mean, it, if it, I was, you know, I, I was on the, the, the Goudreau train, and I do think Goudreau would help. I do. And I want him. You know, I, I want him. I just don't say it. I have no idea how they're going to make cap room. Because if you have to move JVR for $5 million and a first round pick, and they don't want to do that, clearly, it probably wouldn't have done by now if they wanted to. I, I have no idea what they're going to do. I have absolutely no idea. I don't see this as a one player thing. Like, I, because if, if to me, if they were to sign Goudreau, that would probably be the only thing they'd be able to do. So I have no idea. Um, it's going to be very interesting over these next handful of days. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on the uh, Limblom buyout. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for this one. So again, thank you for all the support uh, for the coverage of the uh, development camp and all that stuff. Again, that's why this video was a little bit late. Um, but, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you all again soon.